Hi and welcome to our tutorial about adding content to your web pages in Google Sites. Adding content to a web page is very similar to just typing into a normal word processor. In this example I'm going to show you how I customize the About Me page and add some content to this page. Right now as you can see it's completely blank. So to get started I'm going to go up and use the Edit Page option. And this will actually load a WYSIWYG editor, which allows me just to basically type whatever content I want into this page. Rather than bore you with typing a lot of stuff right now, I've already pulled in some different things that I've typed up in the past. And so now I've got some basic ideas here. I have my text just by typing it in. You can see I have a basic word processing editor. I can pick my font. I can pick my size and all those things that you're used to doing in a normal um, word processing program like Word or um, WordPerfect or something like that. Now, here's the things that you can do with Google Sites that make this a web page. A big thing is that you probably want to add content like images. Under the in insert menu of the, across the top of your screen, you can see that there are a long list of different things that I can add. Most of these will tie directly into the other Google tools. Like you can see, I've got my Google Calendar, I have uh, documents from Google Docs, a slideshow from Picasa, or even if I scroll down further, videos from YouTube. I just want to add a basic image here so that you can see how I do this. I have two choices on adding an image. I can either upload my own images or I can put an image that's already on the internet. Now if you upload your own images you do need to be aware that you have a 100 megabyte limit for the entire site that you create so you can't upload too many images uh, or you'll find that you run out of room. But it's pretty simple. I just click browse to find the image that I want to add. It's out here on the desktop so I'll open that and just like that I've, I've got that picture as part of my options. Now the picture is currently selected so I can come down and click the add image button. Boy that's a really big picture as you can see. So what are some of my options here? I'll click one time on the picture so that I can get size options and maybe some other options as well. So first let's change the size of that picture. It's really big so let's go down to maybe like a medium size. Look how easy that was to change that. Now I don't want the picture to be at the bottom of the page so I'll just click and drag. And You can see as I drag that picture along my cursor also is moving so I can kind of put that picture wherever I want. Okay, So maybe I'll just move it right up to the front of my document. But like a lot of us we don't really want our pictures and the text to be separated by, um, by having everything forced down. So just like you would do in Microsoft Word, if I click on the picture again, you can see that I have a text wrapping option. So I'll pick to turn that on. And you can see immediately my text goes up and moves into place. Now another thing that's really important about uh, inserting content is the ability to add links. You can see that I already have some links in here. If I click on the link, it gives me the option to go to that page. So let's make a, another link here. Let's say that I want to link to the University of Utah here. So first step is highlighting the text and then coming up again into the, the well we have a couple options here. We can actually click the link or we could do, do this as well from the insert menu. Insert a link. So you choose. I'm going to click on the link option here. First I'll highlight that text again. I accidentally got that deselected. And I'll click the link option. And You can see I've got two choices here. I can either link to another page in my site or I'll click on the linking to a web address and this is where I just have to type in that web address so maybe I'll link to the University of Utah's website. The last choice that you have here is that you can choose to open the link in a new window or have it open in the current window so it would actually replace the content that you're seeing and uh, have people um, force them to that page. So I'm going to pick to open the link in a new window. I'll say OK to that. And you can see just like that, that text is now underlined. Um, and I can test it by clicking the go to link and see what I've created there. Or I can change it or just take it out. So that's the basics of adding content to a web page to the actual web um, type of page in Google Sites. Really easy to add images, really easy to make text links and to customize your text. I hope this has been useful for you. Thanks for watching.